This is a one-man show. <laughs> I'm Delaney from South High School. Roar! Um, I will be reading a poem called Needle and Thread. A sharp piercing needle, an entrance for a pale blue thread, an interval blue, as close and contiguous threads and needles can take place here. This needle tries rejecting the pale blue thread. A needle is a sharp and astute piercer for stability and independence. Threads are dependent. Thread with a needle and thread without. Thread is to be in the needle for stability. Thread cannot properly thread without a needle. Although needles can and can't be without a thread, sometimes a needle shouldn't have a thread. They're too independent for one. This needle, this tiresome needle, cannot thread, not for threading or sewing. It's a needle to act, act as if a needle can adopt a reliant thread. Although this needle terrorizes and rejects all, this needle seems to think it should talk to thread. To think it should adopt and raise a thread is obscure and pointless. Yes, a needle is pointless. A needle like this one. This needle talks with a threat, talks with nature, takes care of thread without the care. A pointless needle, a dull needle, an absolutely dull needle. A thread needs a sharp and a threadable needle, but this needle cannot thread. It dreads to thread. Pale blue talks with color, a needle sewing an aqua blouse with a pale blue thread. Although it is a discreet match of teal and cornflower, the, the match is still terribly distinguishable. It's talkable, but the needle tries to silence a thread it deliberately adopted. It did, although, it didn't know a thread was already there. It, it still told itself to thread and sew like this thread is to be with a terrible and god-awful aqua blouse. Although a needle can adopt a thread, sometimes a needle shouldn't. All of this isn't told for our tailors or dressmakers. This isn't told to the outfitters or the fashion designers, although it might help. A needle can arise without a thread, but a thread can't arise without a needle.